Hi, everybody. This is Jay Reganator, the chair of the Wesley Foundation Board of Trustees at the University of Illinois. And it's my pleasure to bring us another segment of Where Are They Now? And today our guest is an alumnus, uh, Lana Robin. And so I'm going to invite Lana to share with us uh, where you're living now and what you're doing. Hi, I am in Mantino, Illinois. That is about an hour south of Chicago and just north of Kankakee. I'm serving at the United Methodist Church here. It's a one point charge and uh, full time ministry. I've been here a year and a half. Can you take us back and remind us what years uh, you were at Wesley and uh, how you were involved with Wesley when you were a student? Yeah, I was involved at Wesley from 1990 to 94 when I was a student, and then three years after that when I was living and working in town. Um, and part of my work was at Wesley Foundation. So um I got involved actually before I started as a freshman. My parents had been involved at Wesley when they were at the U of I. And so uh, summer before I was a freshman, my mom brought me by and was introducing me around to people. And um, I was I got involved with a, a group that was bicycling from Wesley. So um, I only lived 10 miles away and would bicycle with them and would come into midweek on Wednesdays in the summertime before school started. So um, so by the time everybody came back to school in the fall, I felt like I was a regular and was ready to welcome other people. So, and then I was, a, I was highly involved there for all four years that I was there. I was a peer minister for, I think it was just my senior year, but it might've been earlier. Um, and then after I graduated, our director, Jeff Ford, was went on sabbatical. And so I was asked to take on um, another, another 10 hours or so. So I was working 20 hours at Wesley after I graduated and doing extra work to help keep things going. Do you have a favorite story from your time at Wesley? Um, I love going on the retreats and things like that, but I, I love think the the best were the um, the boundary water retreats that we did in Minnesota, and um, you know we'd always have a group of maybe ten to twelve of us there, and sometimes it was uh, people you knew well, and some of them were people we didn't know at all, and so um, we really got to know each other well by the end of that. And, Anytime with anything of the retreats, it really made you family. Just in general, midweek worship services were, were a highlight. Um, there's no one story about that, but it was just that regular uh, weekly worship with students, student-led worship. Um, the music was always um, amazing, led by our peers. And um, Jeff Ford was the, the director there the whole time that I was a student and he uh, would always lead communion and connect everything together. And, um, I just remember that always being a huge highlight of my life each week. How did Wesley help you grow in your faith during your time as a student? Um, well, I had grown up in the United Methodist Church and um, had always just taken a lot for granted and when I came to college, uh, I I loved Wesley and it um, it confirmed a lot of my faith, but it also challenged a lot of my faith. And so the um, there were things like uh, the the Baker Board for women. Um, they brought in really interesting, challenging speakers that pushed me beyond my comfort zone, and. Uh, students just having a different way of worshiping and different uh, theology than I had. Um, some of the students who were, um, were LGBTQ and uh, challenged where I, you know, I didn't even know where I was on that at the time. Um, as a peer minister, I worked with, we had, um, we had some African-American peer ministers as well. And um, so just, 
everything really, um, really pushed me to grow. I was, I was never just comfortable with where I was at. And uh, like many college students, I went through a faith crisis, um, especially toward my junior year. And part of that was being a history major and learning all the horrible things that the church had been part of in its history. And um, yet having this faith community that I loved. And so even when I was struggling with my faith, I was still just as involved as ever at Wesley and the students who are some of my best friends even to today, they helped me through that. And Jeff Ford helped me through it. Um, people in the church were there for me. So, um, you know, Jean Kramer Huerman came in, I think my, I think she came in my senior year, um, but she, she helped me with my faith a lot and my questions and just confirmed that, you know, having questions was, was a good thing, not, not a bad thing, not a weakness. And um, I felt my call to ministry after, um, after that, during that first year when I was working at Wesley. Is there a, a specific way that you feel like Wesley impacted you? Hmm. I mean, I think, um, it gave me a, a much greater appreciation for diversity of people and thought and worship styles and an interest in that and curiosity to learn and grow more by knowing knowing how other people believe and worship. So, yeah. That's great. Is there anything else you wanna share with us about your vocation or your family or things that other alumni would be interested in knowing about you today? I, mean, I would say, so I, um, I started doing international mission trips after my time at Wesley and uh, did campus ministry for 18 years and encouraged a lot of students to go on those international mission trips. And I remember back to um, an international mission trip that was advertised at Wesley to go to Africa University when it was first being started. And I really wanted to go. And um, I just felt like I was supposed to, supposed to go, supposed to be there, but I couldn't imagine how I could afford to go. And so ever since that experience, I've always, um, I've always wanted to encourage students to um, to say yes to those things, those nudges, and um, don't worry about the money. We'll, you know, we'll help you find it. You don't have to just depend on yourself for that. And so, you know, whether it's through the Wesley Foundation helping you or through your home church helping you, I think. Um, there, there are so many opportunities that are available that were available to me through Wesley Foundation. And I think things that are still available to, to students that um, we don't want financial hardship to ever get in the way of somebody answering God's call. And um, I fortunately did get to go to Zimbabwe um, years later and I still have a wonderful connection there. And I always wonder, well, what if I had what if I had gone on that trip that first time? Uh, yeah, so I think that answers the question. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think so, because I know that you have uh, shared with me uh, many times about your, your pull to Africa um, and continuing to do mission work there. So um, I, I think it's great uh, that you have that heart uh, that, others don't have that kind of a pull and maybe it's because they didn't have the kinds of opportunities um, that you've had or even uh, what seems to be a seed that was planted while you were at Wesley uh, to do that so I think that's great for people to know absolutely yeah that's, that's that has, hits it on the nail um you know I think the the other thing about Wesley was just exposure to um to people with different beliefs from me um, that really opened up my mind to the LGBTQ community. And, um, you know, that was something that was completely 
completely new to me when I came to Wesley. And it was because of making friends who were gay and um, they're sharing their faith with me and having those deep, honest conversations that made me realize how important it is to have those, those opportunities to really get to know people who are different from you and it might just change you. It, it seems like it. So uh, we want to thank you for spending some time with us and sharing with us your story. And if you are interested uh, in sharing about where you are now as an alumnus of Wesley, uh, we would encourage you to reach out to Donna Camp. She is our director of advancement and engagement uh, for the Wesley Foundation and for Wesley United Methodist Church. And you can reach her at Engage at wesleyui.org.